channel welcome back to another video today i'm going to share with you a grocery haul and a cook with me where i'm going to share with you two simple easy 10 minute recipes in a huge grocery haul at least huge for me because i typically spend around 50 dollars per week on groceries i spent a total of 125 dollars. i shopped at three stores and i'm anticipating what i bought to last us three weeks now i do have other items still on hand to use up in my fridge freezer and pantry but i meal plan pretty specifically like day to day down to the meal so i know exactly what i need to purchase what i have on hand so this haul should last me three weeks but let's jump into it i think this is one of the biggest hauls i've done in like a year i feel like i was at the store for so long today like running around like i said three stores 125 dollars. let me show you what i got and of course give this video a big thumbs up if you are here for budget friendly meal ideas and grocery hauls okay i hit the grocery store at exactly the right time because i got some reduced priced produce and i love that okay celery tomatoes one lonely little jalapeno these were reduced i got all of these for 99 cents there's like literally nothing wrong with them they're not squishy they have no marks on them i don't know someone just put them in the reduced section also all four of these were 99 cents that is a stellar deal like oh my gosh and then the uh bananas of course they always have tons of reduced bananas because as soon as they start to brown the grocery store it lets them go they were 45 cents a pack so this is like the biggest one i think there's like seven bananas there maybe six 45 45 so i grabbed a whole bunch of bananas this is my favorite way to eat bananas like slightly brown i feel like they're so sweet that way but if i don't get through these this week in baking i will freeze them and then i can use them for smoothies or for baking later on peppers were also on sale 67 cents each i thought that was such a good deal and i got some orange ones and then we have some other little produce items an onion a lemon and some garlic Carrots, huge staple in our house just to eat or to make cheese sauce, which I will leave that recipe video linked down below. Mushrooms, because I'm gonna try a new mushroom gravy and you're actually gonna see that recipe in today's video, so stay tuned. I did shop at three different stores, so I ran to Whole Foods and got some baby spinach. I'm gonna do a Whole Foods video coming up really soon, and that was included in my grocery budget for the next couple weeks, so stay tuned, but I got some baby spinach and honestly, this spinach cost me like nine cents more than it did at Smith's. Like this stuff is from the Kroger company, Smith's, and this is from Whole Foods. So really, I feel like Whole Foods is kind of competitive. I know a lot of people argue with me that it's not, but like price-wise, it's not too bad. Green onions, these are from Target. I also went ahead and grabbed some red lentil rotini from Target. They didn't have very many gluten-free options, and typically I get my gluten-free pasta at Thrive Market because it's so inexpensive, but get it where you can. I feel like right now, no one has it in stock. Tell me if your grocery stores have it in stock because this is all Target had. This is all Smith's had, the gluten-free um, spaghetti. And then Whole Foods did have a lot more, but they tend to be a little bit more expensive and less in their brand. But I want you to comment below and tell me which of these you think was the cheapest. The Kroger Company, the 365 from Whole Foods, or the Good and & Gather. And I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put a comment down below and let you know which one was the cheapest. But I want you to t stop the video and just take a guess and then go look at my comment. Uh, we also got some corn tortillas because we're gonna do a couple freezer meals um, to kind of gift and to eat and I'm excited for that. I only got one tofu because no one had any tofu. Like this was from Target and they only had one. Smiths didn't have any so that's a bummer but I got some extra things to kind of make up for it. That's one thing you have to kind of go with the flow at the grocery store you know because some things are just out of stock um going into my dry uh produce i guess uh we've got a lot of potatoes onions sweets sweets and as you can tell there's three different kinds of sweets here this is like an orange this is a red and this is a white but they're all 99 cents a pound grabbed a whole bunch of those um we love potatoes as you can tell <laughs> but these are my husband's favorite he likes the little potatoes so we're gonna do a really good smashed potato um sometime this week if not next week russets and reds and russets were actually really inexpensive at whole foods and they looked better than the ones at kroger recently when i've been getting the ones at kroger they there's a wet potato in the bag and so like by the time i find it the potatoes have gone bad. So I decided to shop elsewhere and I actually was really impressed with this price. And then reds, I don't cook a lot with. I don't eat a lot of reds. Russets are my favorite and then sweets. But 
we're gonna try something new this next couple weeks. And then frozen produce, here's something that is so funny to me. The most expensive place for me to buy frozen vegetables is Walmart. They're $1.25 a bag. At Kroger, they're always 10 for 10. They only have green beans out of the section that I like, so I got a bunch of green beans. Got broccoli over at 365 Whole Foods, and then the Good and Gather, they're 85 cents. So $1, 85 cents, and then Walmart is $1.25. So I definitely, I know a lot of you shop at Walmart. I'm not a big Walmart shopper because it is expensive, and they never have sales. So if I'm there, I'll shop there real quickly if I gotta grab something, but other than that, I go to the place that has sales. Okay, so here's a quick swoop of the first part of the haul and finishing up over on this side. So like I said, we are doing some freezer meals. So I got two large cans of enchilada sauce and I don't even know what kind of enchilada sauce I like. So I asked my husband, he said he likes red. We got red. One can of crushed tomatoes because I am going to make a tomato soup at some point. Hopefully it doesn't get too warm before I'm able to make it. All right, more canned goods. I like canned and frozen because it's easy for me to plan around and I can also buy it all at once and then go through my fresh produce first and then rely on my canned and frozen for the next week. So it cuts back on my shopping. So we have three cans of black beans, a can of these pinto beans from Whole Foods, which let me just tell you, this flavor is so good. And someone did ask me the other day in a video if these are vegan. Yes, they are. The nice thing about Whole Foods is they do list everything, and these are really inexpensive. Um, Price-wise, <laughs> you would think that, oh, the Kroger company is gonna be so much cheaper because look at this you know, label, it's gonna be so much cheaper. This can was 19 cents more, and it's organic. So really, yes, if you're gonna buy a lot of these and you're really on a strict budget, I mean, you can save a lot of money by doing conventional versus organic, but we always think organic's gonna cost us so much more. Whole Foods is gonna cost so much more. If you're on a really strict budget, obviously Kroger, the way to go, but for a treat, I feel like this is a treat for us. <laughs> All right, got some Dijon mustard also from Whole Foods. I only could find the light coconut milk and I needed some for a recipe, so I just grabbed a can of that. Uh, chickpeas always, because we're always making some kind of hummus or curry here, corn, um, picante sauce. I didn't really know what I was looking for in that aisle. I wanted salsa. My husband also grabbed this, which is a three chilies salsa, so I feel like that'll be really good. And then the garlic didn't look great at any of the stores, so. I grabbed this. We're gonna go back to minced garlic. It's a little bit more expensive this way, but oh well, that's okay. Snacks, fresh mejeweled dates. These are my favorite. These will probably be gone so fast because I eat these like, I mean, if they're in the house, I will eat them so quickly. But I'm gonna try to ration those out and let them last three weeks. And then a new to me hummus brand that is actually new to our Smiths. It said new product alert is this Cedars Roasted Red Pepper. My friend Lauren buys this and she always talks about it. So I thought I'd try it and we have lots of celery and carrots and peppers and stuff. So this is kind of like snacks for the week. Um, and there we go. There is part two of this haul. shared something like this many times on my channel because it's one of my husband and I's favorite really go-to throw together 10 minutes or less meals. I just pop a couple potatoes in the microwave and make a really quick homemade salsa. I love keeping canned beans and canned corn on hand for quick, easy meals. Yes, it's always cheaper to buy them in bulk, to buy beans dry. And then of course, you can take the time to put them in your pressure cooker or your instant pot, make them on the stove top, keep them in the freezer. But we do both. I have beans in the freezer, I have dry beans in my pantry, and then I also have canned beans that I keep on stock for quick lunches like this one that I was making today. 
Also, if you're gonna chop a jalapeno and you don't want as much heat, leave out some of the seeds and always wash your hands immediately after you're done chopping it or wear gloves or something so you don't burn your eyes. I used a couple seasonings, just some garlic salt and tahini. You could definitely add a lime to this. I didn't grab any limes at the store. I had them on my list and I completely forgot them, but I always forget one or two things when I go to the store. It's inevitable that that always happens, even though I have a list, but it's okay. No harm, no foul. But this is such a beautiful, delicious salsa. And then all I do is pop a couple potatoes in the microwave. This microwave that we have is new to us. Obviously it's new in our home, but I've never used this dial before. It also has a conventional oven hookup. I have never used that before. It's like a a metal plate that goes inside of it. There's like instructions for it. I've never used it, but I'm not afraid to put a potato in the microwave when I'm hungry, borderline hangry, and want a potato. So these white sweet potatoes, I've talked about them multiple times on my channel. Whenever they're in stock at Kroger, I always have to pick them up. They are so good. They're like a combination between a russet and a sweet potato. So they're kind of white and a little bit buttery and nice and starchy. They're so delicious. They're so good. I'm probably gonna hide them in my pantry. Don't tell my husband. Hide them off to the side so he doesn't eat them. <laughs> and then they'll just be for me. He'll never know that they're there. <laughs> Anyways. I'll go ahead and top your potato with some salsa and then some picante sauce and there you go you could also roast some veggies on the side if you want to this is what i had for lunch on this very busy day after i spent about two hours running around and shopping for groceries fan of fast meals but I'm a huge fan of one pot meals which I'll link another video up above if you want to check that video out but I when I meal plan I really try to think of like the best meals that are quick and easy for my schedule one pot meals always a success this one came together in about 10 minutes it was so fast you just have to chop and cut and wash your veggies and then make some pasta in that veggie slash broth with a little bit of coconut milk. It's so good. I will actually type out what I did and put it in the description box because it was kind of inspired from a curry, but also a mushroom soup that we had about a month or two ago from a Green Chef meal. So I do take those meals a lot of times and feel very inspired by them. And this is what became of it and it was so delicious. I actually have my husband reviewing this meal, so stay tuned to the end of the video. But I crunched up my pasta you'll see that in a little bit because all i had was spaghetti and i wanted to cook faster but also to like kind of incorporate a little bit easier in this one pot i also decided to cook my garlic and my mushrooms first let the water release from the mushrooms and then add my onion and celery and let those become well the onions become translucent the reason I do that is because I don't cook with any oil. If you cook with oil or if you want to water saute your onions and celery first, you absolutely can. But this is a really good way to get a lot of aromatics, a lot of flavor in your pot. I don't always like cook my onions that way because sometimes I'm just really not that picky. I really like onions, so they can be raw or they can be cooked. It doesn't matter. I also didn't share with you, but in the beginning, but I did add a little bit of coconut aminos to give it a little more depth and kind of like that smoky, salty kind of sweetness, which I feel like goes so good with mushrooms. This was such a delicious meal. I highly recommend trying this one. Tag me over on Instagram when you try it and let me know what you think.
let YouTube know what you think of that meal. It's new. Uh, it's hot. <laughs> and... Don't burn your mouth. Ooh. It's very hot. You love mushrooms, so I thought, like, that would be good. You love it. Mm. <laughs> rate it 1 out of 10. Okay, it's 1 out of 10. <laughs> no, give it a rating. You just told me to rate it 1 out of 10. It's 1 out of 10. Okay. We've been working so hard all day. So hard, haven't we? Like, literally, my brain is fried. She wants me to do a review on this, and I just want to eat it because my brain is fried. Tell if me. If I could rate this, because I love mushrooms so much, the mushrooms are a 10 out of 10. It's got green stuff in it. <laughs> And it's got onions in it, which I love onions. So onions, I'm going to give a 10 out of 10. The green stuff, is it celery? Yeah. Wow. Celery goes great with peanut butter. Um, It'll add a nice little crunch. There's no peanut butter in this, no though. Flavor. And I'm going to give the overall dish a 9.999999993 out of 10. Oh, not bad. So I would eat this again. Okay. Good job, babe. Thanks. No. Nope. YouTube, this is Joe Sports approved. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to Running on Plants on YouTube, which is my wife's channel. If you didn't know that, she does cooking. Thanks, babe. Now enjoy your dinner. Okay, I will.